Hi, welcome to week seven. And first of all, I'm sure you all remember the little battle of wits that me and my other self had last week that went a little something like this. Cool, guys. <laughs> Couldn't have said that better myself. Well, technically, you did. Oh, great. You're back. That's right. Dude, you, you, you got a little, uh... No, no, no. Other eye. There you go. Sorry about it. I'm kind of getting off to a late start with this video. My, I was kind of hope my house was kind of hosting a party. You know who else got off to a late start? The Vikings defense. Well, they started shutting them down after that. Yeah, you got a point there. But I'll get, I'll get to that a little later. Dude, where's the Vikes gear? I don't know. I guess you got me there. Oh, and also... That's right. Whoo! Dude, don't, don't, don't do that. Oh, come on. Dude, quit talking to yourself and get on with the game. Anyway, yes, the Minnesota Vikings have defeated the Detroit Lions. I'm kind of having deja vu here. They have defeated the Detroit Lions. The Vikings have completed a season sweep of the Detroit Lions, and they have yet to even play the Bears or the Packers. But we'll get to them later. So, yeah. Um, like you said, or like I said, I guess, we kind of got off to a slow start. It started out looking terrible. Defensively, I think we did. I mean, it... it... The Lions on the first drive moved the ball, ending in a touchdown from Stafford to Megatron. He responded with a pretty good looking drive, but we ended with a field goal. Then they respond with another touchdown. Things are looking a little worse. You know, we get but we get another field goal. Great, guys. Alright. However, to me, it was way too early to be pessimistic. So yeah. In the midway through the second quarter, our offense put together a good drive. Bridgewater back to pass. Whoa! Woo! Finds Rudy in the end zone, and... Get up, baby! You know, unfortunately, the extra point was missed. All you Blair Walsh critics can go, Urgh. Then, late in the second half, we... You mean the second quarter? We put together a nice a little, a little drive. We had to settle for another field goal, so we bring it to 17-15 at the end of the half. And, all right, we're down by two, and we get the ball to start the second half. And from there, our defense just kept shutting them down. And how did we, how are we shutting them down? Well, our defense, they were, they were, we got Stafford. We sacked him seven times. They, they looked like a bunch of hobos on top of a bologna sandwich. <laughs> what? One nice play during the game. You know, Teddy, back to pass. Throws it deep for Stefan Digg. Oh! It was beautiful. So we took the lead, and now we're up 22-17. Later, I think it's, there was another big play. This one by Adrian. For most of the time, it looked like there were just not any holes for him to run through. But there was a pretty big hole here. You know, a hole for him to run through. I assume that's what you meant. <laughs> Starts running all off. Running all off for a 75-yard pickup. And then we kick a field goal. Uh, but hey, we're still winning. Just, 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 come on. Keep it up, defense. So later we get another field goal. Another situation where I think we could have scored a touchdown. You know, like, like I said last week, I feel like this offense kind of looking like the old... Bob Schnelker offense from the late 80s. N n nothing against Bob Schnelker. That ain't Bob Schnelker's fault. And, and you gotta give the Lions defense some credit there. And then I was a little upset towards the end. I mean, it was, we get into an, our prevent defense, which I find that a little ironic. How so? Because then the Lions offense started moving again. 
They were coming up with some big plays, including a play where <laughs> Stafford pretty much goes, you know, uh, for 500! Ooh. Luckily for him, Megatron was able to catch that one right at the half-yard line, but the defense stiffened. They kept him out of the end zone. <laughs> cool. So uh, how did Teddy do? Teddy, he had his best game of the season, throwing for 316 yards and two touchdowns and no interceptions. His best target was Stefan Diggs. If he keeps doing what he's doing, he could catch for over a thousand yards this season. Anyway, good win. The Vikes won 28 to 19. Next week, they travel to Chicago, a place that we've had a little trouble winning there in recent years, but I'm hoping for the best. Go Vikings. Go Vikings. And one more thing. Uh, for, for those of you who have been, you know, tuning in to my videos, watching them, loving them, you know, it feels good, and... Okay, dude, we get it.